Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Bruder Creek in Austrian Victory in which we're playing as everyone's favorite French nation, the French Empire, brought led by an inexperienced monarch, Napoleon VI. And we gotta talk about his France. The year 1936 will be a critical one for the French Empire. The Empire has many decisions to make like the Constitution. Strikers of military modernization will decide the fate of the Empire for decades to come. A divided doctrinaire coalition. The Royalist doctrinaire party is the best for France. It remains to be seen which wing of the party shall prevail. While the law proposes the constitution, or the continuation, of the 1927 constitution, and transitional, a transitional towards the constitutional monarchy, members of the right have other ideas in mind. And the young emperor. The second French empire, birthed from the flames of Napoleon III's revolution, has lived a long and mostly stable history, but with the 1936 rolling around, France looks to be at a crossroads. Led by an inexperienced boy king of just 22, the French empire faces many issues in 1936, including the rising refugee crisis, the constitutional dilemma, and an absolute chaos under satellite state of Westphalen. On top of all this, the Jacobin SFIO radical movement seeks to steal away Napoleon's crown once for all. With the country and the chambers bitterly divided over the future of France, Napoleon VI must bring France to the darkest times and a possible up upcoming wars in Europe. Can Napoleon fix his mess? No. Maybe. We'll see. Favoring Doctrine A. Alright, because I want to go on the right side. Oh, this is mod. I just want to play like a lot of monarchies on the right side. The conservative wing of the doctrinaires went out, and the king's prerogatives are expected to be expanded, but it is divided between the left, who favor the liberal 1926 constitution, and the right, who favor the more absolute 1852 constitution. But yeah, I'll play these nations a couple different times. I've played as Austria, Prussia, and Russia as already, so we'll see what happens over time, but yeah, we'll get there. Um, we're trying to build up a lot of civvies. Let's see, anyone here? The cabinet. Not That's pretty good. Pierre Laval? It's not terrible. Um, that's not too bad. The doctrinaires divided. The doctrinaires had been the backbone of Napoleon's rule. Despite their helping the overthrow of the Bonaparte ancestor and idol 100 years ago, together he and the party had taken up arms against the radical Jacobins. Because no one likes Jacobins. Napoleon still had his problems with some of their policies. They had, after all, enforced the Constitution of 1927 upon his father's death, which Napoleon had done under the influence of his liberal tutor, Domorgu. After Domergue's assassination, he had begun his dissension into reaction. He dreamed of restoring his great-grandfather Napoleon IV's constitution of 1852, which would hand him a huge increase of power. While well, the doctrinaire right supported his action, the doctrinaire left under Pierre Laval demanded that Napoleon keep the constitution of 1927 if he refused. Then Laval would lead the doctrinaire coalition and the majority would be lost. It would be quite risky to move to favor the doctrinaire right's policies. Would he choose to uphold the teachings of his mentor, Domacu, or Domacu, and would he succumb, or would he succumb to the loss of absolute power? Either way, Napoleon knew his choice would decide France's fate for years to come. Oops. What are you being colony? Hunting the nationalists. Oh. Or so the Constitution of 1852. As the Emperor began to favor the doctrine of a ride, the semi liberal Constitution of 1927 should be replaced by the authoritarian Constitution of 1852 signed by Napoleon. This is going to hurt us for a while. Actually, no. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. So here's National Spirits. That actually hurts us. We get more stability. <clears throat> but it does hurt... It gives, gives us 15% more political power, which would be nice. We have Imperial Overextension. Oh, boy. It's not good. Um, we have Europa Krieg Neutrality. Not very good at all for us. We have Vestfall and Predicament. It's not good. And then Unstable. It could collapse in Civil War. Belgian Election Campaign begins. The 1932 Bel Belgian elections were extremely controversial. As a well-known integralist, Léon de Grouin, it was not actually known whether the French monarch is supporting movement action in Francois intervened, but relations between the French and British quickly soured. De Grouin immediately voiced the words of Charles Maras, establishing an integral society. He and Napoleon had been coming close together, much to the delight of the action of Francois and the dismay of the British. Candidate Paul van Zeelen, a progressive and anti de Grouin, is supported and funded by Halifax's national government, so both nations will likely support their fight for a candidate. And true democracy will be likely sidelined by the great powers. This election will likely decide the fate, and de Grouin must win the election and the, the right man for the job. Eugene Delaclon's engineering skills will not help him here. The situation was chaotic in Belgium. Action Francois had put him in charge of ensuring de Grouin's victory in the upcoming elections. But roads of Flanderonians were out on the streets protesting against the integral and pro Walloonist government. He would have, con have to conjure and coordinate a plan with both political and economic facets. If he tough, but this election will likely decide the balance of power in Western Europe, de Grouin must win. An interesting story. But French autocracy. The French autocracy has been a core part of France society ever since Louis the Fourteenth reforms in the 1600s. A careful line has been drawn between the powerful and the ambitious generals, and Napoleon the Sixth must make a decision to which or to whom we shall cooperate with. Upcoming Belgian elections will likely to balance power in Benelux. Two candidates: Integralist pro-French candidate, incumbent Leon de Grel, and Liberal pro-British opponent Paul van Zeelen.
kind of really like doing that one, but that costs even more. We'll help them out wherever we can. So, but yeah, uh, actually, these divisions weren't all infantry; they were all like different things, like cavalry included. But I decided, eh, let's keep infantry for now. It's pretty standard. We need a lot of factories. We're not looking very good right now. Um, where are we at? We're only on civilian economy, which sucks. Oh god, he's such an ex inexperienced monarch. We have a lot of factions here to deal with, though. Which is not great. But we are the Continental Alliance. Oh, hello. Sanusi Order is getting taken out by uh, a town revolutionary order, huh? Or consulate. Yeah, they have a generic book for now, so. Ah. Oh, yeah, dude, this drawer. Nice. Forgot about all this stuff. Uh, early subs, I'm not going to bother. But that's just a waste of manpower. 936 subs, those are okay. Early cruisers, I don't really like anything early. The 50. <clears throat> Excuse me. 1852 Constitution restored. Napoleon knew of the gravity of his decision, and Laval and his doctrinaire left would be pissed. The Jacobins would try to do a crime with the tyrant once more. The leftist threat was simply too much to handle, however, and he needed all the power necessary to prevent from changing France forever. Shocking. Oh, we actually get way, 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 way more political power now than what we had earlier. Nice. Now, military domination versus class rules all. <coughs> Excuse me. Division Colonial. Which one do we want? And more influence. So we'll have to probably wait and see about that stuff. But let's at least read something like the Westfalen Initiative. Our German satellite, the Königsreich von Westfalen, is deeply unstable. We must make sure to secure our status there. Balancing the aristocracy. France's aristocracy can be split in nobility and generals. Emperor Napoleon VI is the elite, the elite's in nobility, while Marshal Joseph Darnand and Philippe Patin the generals. Together, they share quite an unstable coalition, as the young emperor still remembers Domacu's assassination by the French military clique. You know what? I want to go. How right side can we go? National populism versus Napoleon rules alone, which I do like that one too. Um. AF. What's AF? Oh, national cynicalism. Oh. Well, let's try forming this cabinet, maybe. Let's go military domination for now. But, we're doing the thing for Westfalen. Oh. Nobles and military influence. Oh. Choose by five. More war support. That's not bad. Even though, yeah, we can use more war support. Ooh, you get a military factory. That's pretty good. Political actions close that one for now, because we still got to think about these guys, too. French influence is ten. Go 50 right there. Increase that one too, and then we'll do one more. Military power for 5. Yeah, I can use some compa command power too. Ebola's coup. This is going to be super important to do, but do this stuff as well. 25 influence, 100 days, effects. Oh wow, we lose political power and stability. How great. How peachy. 35, not bad. Oh, wait, look at this. Increased military wages. Whoa! Here's military plus 50. Kreas on the Rhine. Our satellite, the Königreich von Westfalen, is in a state of disaster. The Rhine. <clears throat> home for under Reinhard Heydrich and Abbasspiel continue to grow in power and cause damage to Westfalen's government economy. The Republicans under Adenauer hope to lead away from the Bonapartist monarchy to establish a republic on the Rhine. The many different interest groups are under pulling the first. Or six rules constantly. And with the Prussian threat on the rise, we cannot have such chaos in a German possession. It must be of utmost priority to eliminate the Rhine home front, who, if popular enough, could cause a revolt with enough Prussian support. Every day, the, talk, the clock ticks towards Westphalen's collapse. This is not good. Division Colonial. Must develop French colonies with new roads and mines, and Imperial Holdings will gladly appreciate the help. Absolutely. Yeah, getting 50 more political powers is going to be very beneficial. Because now we're at 16, they're at 5. And we got to continue increasing these guys. We have 35 here, but still. Of course, we have to get up to 50, then we can do the focus. Because even though I honestly prefer this stuff, like the, the stuff, get more political power, less consumer goods, angry members from the unions. As we have heard reports that due to the political divide in the nation and the stagnation of wages, the unions in Lyon are preparing a strike. We have two choices either let them engage in their tomfoolery or perhaps give them some concessions. Bear to crush the unions. Oh, that's all got more autonomy. Oh, power, nice. After that, we should be good. Right? We should be good. Leon General Strike. General Strike broken down the entirety of the, of the city of Leon, paralyzing the industry in the surrounding region. 
This will have to be dealt with quickly. Uh, or destruct some experience elsewhere. To go national, huh? None of political actions. Beyond. Well, do I need to put my soldiers here? I can't tell. It's literally impossible to tell, so. Ah, crush the Leon's general strike. The recent strikes in Leon, economic hubbub of France, has led to mass instability in our work economy. We must find a solution to make the workers get back to work, or things could get very bad very fast. And then military domination. With the war in Europe likely approaching, it makes sense for Napoleon to ally with generals and strengthen military control. Colonial investments. Ooh. Seems the is gone. I don't mind keep doing this one. For 10, that's pretty good. Land of the Chads. <laughs> Land of Carthage. Uh, Morocco. Cameroon. Ooh, rubber. Uh, Arabs, Algeria. Let's do Algeria, maybe? All this other stuff. Oh, actually, this was not bad. You actually get another military factory? That's pretty good. We'll wait to get that one, too. Oh, crap. Oh, God, no. Run Leon, set up factories. Oh, let's get that one first. 1.07. Crush of strikes. Factory of the strikers. 50% or more. At least do this one, because that's actually really good. So then, into Chinese stuff. Oh, military factories, that's not bad. The dual African authorities? Okay. Under the light of God. Viva la France. Uh, Action Francois, the Napoleon News on the Mafia stream. Which one's this one? That's not bad, that's actually really good. Called a Napoleon. Ooh. National symbol. Path of aggression. I like aggression. Uphold Napoleonic ideals. Probably go with this side. Yeah. De la Army. Not bad. A research slot, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Mm. Reinforce Continental Alliance. Unrest in the nobility. 61. 35 days. We'll get that one hopefully done. Oh, good God. Hope we do. Uh, keep doing that one. That's actually really good to do. In this one, we have 24 influence. Not bad. Um, you know what? Do that last, last, last one we'll do there. And for these guys, let's kill them all. If you can. <coughs> That's pretty good. Get more political power that way too. Third, oh, third revolution, nice. Can we actually help him out? Oh, we can't. Oh, what well, tension's not high enough? Oh, Kerensky's been elected, eh? Or I guess re-elected. Eighty-four days. The British probably won't be able to do too much. Hopefully. Nice. Nice. Keep beating them down. Twenty is just so good. For another military factory? Oh heck yeah. Thirty-four, yeah, they probably won't do too much against us here now. Nice. Could do that. Yeah, I definitely want to get down there pretty quickly, though. Um, civvies, I love this. I love getting civvies, but those are millies. Algerian oil. Of course, we still have down here. Appointing field marshal, air force, navy, Indo Chinese jewel, Saigon conference. Hunting the nationalists. Nash's Ryan home front has been causing large amounts of trouble with the potential coup on the line. Send a troops to crush him once for all. Oh! Well, crap. That's not good. Now definitely out of PP. Okay, so. 
Guess we get that. And we got the extra political power now, too. Yeah. Je Marie's administration. The generals of France will help Napoleon VI bring glory to France once again. Must give me that to officials for a new government. <clears throat> I need what's the nationalists. Nationalist coup. Manpower. 65% chance of the coup succeeding. Well, since we have manpower. That's in 20, it's not bad. Alright, so where are we at? 34 and 5 is pretty good. Support. Probably done with that one. We'll do this a little later. Well, we're done with this one. So I got spots. Can't really do anything about that except here. It's not bad. 30 already is not bad. <coughs> and at least 50% or more, so. We don't have a ton of manpower, but you know what? It's alright. 40, that's pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. Can't imagine they can get over 40 that soon, so we'll see. Um, remove haven for refugees. Add military intervention. Wait, we're a haven for refugees? Extension, predicament. Oh, we are. I'll get rid of that. French only army. France's military should be a symbol for the nation of France, force that all of Europe must watch out for. 5% more political power, please, yeah. Belgian elections? Ooh, command power. Promoting individualism? Nah, we're okay. Yeah, we've won this one. This is a little more concerning. By 5%, huh? I'll do that one first. Since you can just repeat it over and over and over again for the most part. Institute Absolutism? Ah, like us. Good. We did that one too. Do we win? I love the elections. German political rights. 10 is okay, but I'm going to use that to kill some strikers. I mean, get rid of the strikers. De Grelle's victorious in Belgian elections. Current Premier and pro-French candidate, Leon de Grelle's emerged victorious in the 1936 Belgian elections. Action Francois' campaign for de Grelle has had a big success, as Napoleon hopes to further his influence and agenda in the Benelux. De Grelle continues, or is likely to continue, uh, to pursue staunch, integralist, and conservative policies and reforms. A new dawn is era, a uh, new era is dawning for Belgium. Well done. Who cares? Good job, guys. We'll probably invade him anyways later. So right now, well, this is super important to focus on. National's coup, and we gotta crush him anyways, which will happen soon, hopefully. But the strikes are much more important to think about. Consider. Nice. French-only army strengthening the general clique. The Nationalist Party, backed up by the far-right leagues, is in close coalition with the king. Yeah, the king must rule the government side by side. Uh, with equal power, of course. It's up to them to cooperate and bring France back to greatness. Well, actually... <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies. I've been having a lot of coughing lately. Um... Raid national side out. Exterminate the national threat. When removed, Vesalia. National sympathizers. New code Napoleon. Not bad. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, two days. Victory over the strikers. There you go. That's what we want to see. French only army. Oh, yes, please. Oh, we do have some coffee to keep us nice and warm. At least France has stuff to do. Like, sometimes, like, some nations don't have, like, that much to do, and then they're just filled with filler stuff, but this is more than that, which I like. Which I think is great. Upset at the Vienna Cup. If you want to know about this, please go right ahead. Nice. We're in all wars. So now we can prospect for resources. We can do all this other stuff. Um, I'm thinking about... Oh, we can't even do this, too. I think we need more war support. Uh, it's a reformer, huh? Well... We gotta wait till we actually change governance first. So I guess in the meantime, get some more cities down there. Why not? It's only 1936 still. I don't go to war yet, probably. After the coup, I definitely want to do this one. I kind of want. I want to see how like I want to do all three of these. Like I want to do this like six times because I do want to do the left. So we'll see. You never know what this mod will look like in a couple years too. Anyways, so hopefully we do really well. 
15. All right, I mean with Dana. Napoleon walked up to the shake his hands with the close friends in General Joseph Darnon, head of the Lacoub. And together, they both wanted to protect France of radical leftist influences and bring back the former empire. The military held a big influence over the French politics, so naturally Napoleon knew he would have to please Darnon as he held an important position in trying to balance favor of his own military clique and the nobility. Today, however, would be the King's Day. They were delivering a speech together in front of many of the uh, Paris' politicians. They walked up to the podium together in Chinese unity. Vive la France! We shall bring France to greatness once again. Uh, they probably didn't say that in English, but they shall. How do you get this, though? That seems like a lot of fun. Um, in the meantime, how do you do this one? Oh, okay, so we need to do one of those three. Uh, political actions. Oh, yeah, we probably need to do all this stuff, too. Um, more than 20% support. Oh. Baton. Charles de Gaulle. Armor. I kind of like... I kind of want to use some armor in this campaign. Um, in the meantime, the second France. Algeria, despite not being part of the Metropole, is a critical part of France. We must invest in it. Sure, why not? Oh. Winston Churchill, huh? Got the gang back together, I see. So how do you get... Maybe... Can, can you go down there? Oh, daily change is going up. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is actually going down. So if you wait long enough... You might be able to get up here, too. Yeah. And I definitely want to do this out someday, but just not yet. Um, European colony. Reports the Nouveau Code de Napoleon. The Nouveau Code de Napoleon. Instituted during the occupation of Westfall in 1905. Must be reinforced to teach anyone who opposes a rule a lesson. Well, that kind of hurts him quite a bit. It gives him more stability, which is not bad. Uh-oh. Do we need to go to Siam? I hope we don't. Front nation. Oh, okay. That's not us. If it looks French and reads like French, I get worried that it's French. By getting these military factors, going to be so helpful. Or at least, I guess, for like Arabs, I guess, you know. God dang Arabs. The second France. Go African authorities. Uh, mobilization of the guard. Indo Chinese jewel. So, I've been across the world. The impact of our Indo Chinese colony cannot be understated. They not only provide a strategically important Asian holding, they produce the majority of the rubber for our planes and trucks. We must secure jewel at all costs. Nice. We can't trust them. Oh. Integra integrate the Rhineland. Our crown jewel. The Confederation of the Rhine. I kind of want to do that one, but we're going to be very aggressive here. So. We can't trust them. For far too long, this fall has been plagued by poor governance and instability. Let's make sure that we and we alone control the banks of the Rhine and the valuable resources. They're really not going to like that. So we get the Rhine, or in Rhineland, Rheinfaz. Rheinfaz. So probably Rhineland. And... What's Rheinfaz? Westfalen's right there. Rhein, Rex, Rheinisch. Salen. Ah. Do not have to be colony state then. No, it's a core state. Huh. Well, okay. Into Chinese jewel. Can't trust him. Alright, so that stuff is done. More rubber. How much rubber do we have right now? Actually, we're okay on rubber. We need more fuel. Integrate the Rhineland, why not? Now that we've occupied the Rhineland, then we can crush any lingering resistance that might remain around. Or from the Cagoule cabinet. The right wing military clique led by respected Marshal Joseph Darnan de la Cagoule will form the new government. <clears throat> conscription Christ. Oh, conscription cost laws. Strengthening the generals. Ah, oh, it's like the same thing there. National populism. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so it's 1937. Let's get some more output first. Cause my god, we need some more output. Colonial investments. Uh, 0.3. Weekly stability would be nice. 0.3 for 100 days. 70 days. For a little bit more, we're going to prepare our people for war. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, please. Guys, look at that. 0% war sport. Not good. Not good whatsoever. Yes, it's fine. We cannot thrust them. As why would we be able to, or why should we? And only about nine more days. Building, building, building. The Brazilian commune is gone. And 
Two grenades left for this one. Should be good. Nice. And you get the Ryan then. Uh, what did you do, Dave? Let's get the core first. Get the cores. Cores are nice. Fine, if you really want that one. So be it. Stop bothering me with that. Huh. <laughs> we need just a crap ton of guns. Ready to detection. Not bad. And go into that one too. Yeah, we could really use another research slot. Holy crap. But after that, we'll do this one too. European Colony. Luxembourg. Oh, Luxembourg gets stuff too. Question of the Duchess. Oh, it's the Panic of Dream, yeah. Rising National. Remove Rising Nationalism. Oh, National Populace in, in Arabia? Who are the Hungry Sharks? Oh, I think this is the first time I've actually seen this one. Um, no, 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 no. No one needs freedom. They definitely do not. So, that's pretty good. Alright, two days left. Get the cores. Nothing to do with them. Good. Oh! Well, there goes Serbia. I'm killing itself now. Nice. Occupy territories, managing subjects. Over one a day. It's not bad. I definitely will get some more priority civilian production, probably too, in all honesty. We could use more stability, but. What is this? Abolish Arab Kingdom. Most strengthen our grip over colonial possessions in Algeria for the valuable resources. The first necessary step we must make is to abolish Napoleon III's delusional ideas of an Arab Kingdom. All Smith, huh? Well. Yeah, Viva la France. Uh, start war sentiments. Oh. We shall focus our efforts on boosting nationalism in the nation through military parades. Long live the nation of France, eternal and indivisible. Garde de fraternity. A fraternite. As national brothers, the core of French values, secret police will be entrusted with the defense of the Brotherhood. Death to all traitors. Code Napoleon. Ooh, look at this. Once form a code of personality around Napoleon VI, further spark his ambition to make France a revanche state and global superpower. Surely it will lead France to greatness again. Pursue the path of aggression. So for France to announce a path of aggression on all of Europe, and against anyone who opposes is a threat to Napoleon's continental ambitions. And prioritize research and development. By opening new research facilities, we can work to discover and efficiently produce more powerful infantry, air, and armor technologies, which will help as counter to counter the Prussians and Austrians, and of course, for honor and fatherland. Yes, please. We've clamped down on pacifism and greatly improved our military quality and research. Now we can keep up with uh, the other European powers. Superpowers. No foreign blood has ravaged France, French lands since the days of Napoleon I, and like him, we shall stand on ground sans success. La Cougue uh, Cabinet. Look at this. Do you ever Napoleon VI and outside he would form a government headed by the interventionist militarist La Cougue. The government will be headed by generals such as Joseph Darnan and Philippe Tom. Make France great again. Oh, look at that flag. And now this guy is no longer inexperienced. Our European colony. We purchased Luxembourg in 1867 from the Kingdom of the Netherlands, and they've been under position since. With some autonomy. We must decide to do with Luxembourg right now. I guess might as well. Matt, steel mills. Luxembourg has many important steel mills for us to gain resources from. Question of the Duchess. Since we bought them in 60, 1867, Luxembourg has been a puppet. Now what should we annex them or let them be? Let them be. I think we should straight up just annex them. How beautiful. And now, we have reinforced the Continental Alliance. Must have the Continental Alliance, a group of European nations devoted to upholding strong Catholic and anti-revolutionary uh, ideals. Reaching out to Duart. Huh. Alliance with Spain. Continental ambitions. Now, as much as we want to do law on the country in danger, and keep, the, keep out the Prussian Eagle, but we're not going to go that way. Uh, with the more political power, managing our European sphere, we must strengthen control of our Western European sphere, securing our German puppets, and expanding in the Benelux. So, go ahead. And I finish off this stuff here. Um, up next, we still have to do all this stuff here. The army stuff, which probably shouldn't do too much. French, you know, trying to crush them. Vietnamese home rule. Huh. Operation Nirvana. Crush Ho Chi Minh? We cannot secure a hold on Indochina until the communists have been driven out. We must focus all our efforts on defeating their movement. Well, that's pretty bad. But in the meantime, we're going to go partial mobilization because I did do some of the decisions that gave us a bunch of war support. Serve war sentiments for the nation. Pass was cracked down complete. Complete everything here at least once. Well, I don't know if we can do the socialist Prussian menace, especially when they're not socialists. They're national republic. Oh, look at that flag. Oh, it's like her. Oh, a bunch of nap pops too. Interesting. Huh. And we are actually going to make a couple divisions here. Uh, I'm not sure which land doctrine we're going to go down, though, but we'll see. Austria denounces the Treaty of Versailles, no. Vienna. Crush Ho Chi Minh. Operation Nirvana. What's going on down here? Um, 
French military presence, sword crown and pen, authoritarian democracy. They're very communist or democratic socialists here. Or no, they're, no, they're va vanguard socialists here. Interesting. Well, that'll be good to get rid of. Coup fails. Oh, actually, some infantry divisions, finally. Ho Chi Minh flees to Siam. Ho Chi Minh is a radical gang of communists who fled in the jungles bordering Siam, one of our closest friends in East Asia. Sources say they're regathering their strength and preparing a revolution both are into Chinese colony and unstable Siam. Currently, our military is unable to look at the exact location of Ho Chi Minh's men, but news should be coming soon. Insanity. Abolish Arab Kingdom. We must strengthen a grip over colonial positions in Algeria for the valuable resources. First necessary step we must take is abolish Napoleon the third delusion ideas of an Arab kingdom, of course. Um, you know what, just in case, I'm going to send you guys down there. Just in case. Uh, austerity, you know what, it's going to hurt stability, but you know what, get us more stuff here to work with. Because the revolt in Siam this ends now. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad we've already started sending guys over there. Might not be enough in time, but you know, you never know. Uh, 38, 38. Well, come over here to this one. And we're now going to really start focusing on getting a lot of stuff. A lot of military buildups. Because we are definitely not in any position to hold ourselves there. So. Keep going, guys. You're doing okay. <clears throat> They're definitely not going to be able to make it in time, but whatever. After abolishing the Arab Kingdom, uh, continental actions. We've taken a, uh, back a lot of our former lands. It's time we revive Napoleon, Napoleon's true empire. 38. Plain stuff. We're doing okay for now. Probably get some better fighters. Two days. Temper conference. Oh. This ends now. Viet Cong. Anti Colonial Association of Oppressed Peoples. Remember the AAOP. Oh, okay, so we can only send volunteers, that's fine. Uh, if we go and send volunteers... Uh, what is the train like? Do they have mountains around here? It's mostly just jungle and forest, right? Well, these guys are like 24 combos with artillery. Infantry is not too bad, though. They do have engineers, so... You will be led by... some dude. Rene? I hate all these generals. Thomas Pitad. And we're back to Trump. Abandoned by the British, Ernest Augustus II uh, has turned us for aid against the Prussian menace, who have been gunned their mad questing on all Germans. This will inevitably lead them to conflict with us due to our overlordship of Westphalen. But should we strike away the chance, we should build up military war. We are the bulwark against expansion. Eh, it's too early. Sorry, bros. Too early. 140, not bad. Um, grab you. Come down here. And, uh, yeah. Still training, eh? Attack bombers, though. There you go. There you go. Well, that actually put a power. Prepare people for war. That would be bad. Or, or, <clears throat> we get some more stuff here. Which is not that expensive, actually, at all. Cavalry. We don't even have any cavalry. Commando? We don't even really have, we have some special forces, but. Thinking. Thinking. Sometimes I think. Plus five percent. We could do this. Get more stability. Because we could use it. And then grab this one next. Prepare people for war. I don't know if we can still do this one. Or do this one. Because I want to remove Europa neutrality. Okay. The crackdown is complete now. That's good. Now that's very good. I'm glad we are actually able to do that. Grab that thing. So now. One, two, three. I bet you'll be four. Hopefully full lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Finish Belgium. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold the Brussels Conference. A peaceful offer. Strengthen relations with the British. Fortify the Benelux. Protect the Dutch. Now nah, we gotta go this way. Hold the Brussels Conference, huh? De Grel is not. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I thought De Grel won. Um, finish Belgium. The Brussels Conference. 
in the Brussels conference, we will propose a better less interest to the Belgian leader, Leon de Grel. We should create a strong barrier against the against, against, uh, English and Prussians. Finnish Belgium. Belgium's a weak nation that shouldn't exist in the first place. They are a true part of France. I feel like we should do that one. That sounds like fun. The most fun. Go in if you can. See what you can do. Anything here? Anything unique? Actually, we can send you volunteers too, probably. Forgot about that. Uh, there you go. Hundred planes, huh? Seven fighters. I got quite a few. Oh, there goes Viet Cong. Well, that was fast. Operation Nirvana. There's but one last stronghold of the Indo Chinese Communists. Fighting against the Siamese armies, we must intervene to help liberate those who have been occupied by Ho Chi Minh's forces. <clears throat> Saigon Conference. Time has come for a formal convention or a conference between colonial officials and Saigon to discuss the future of Indo China. Finnish Belgium. Finish them. Oh, you're dead. You are totally dead now. Yeah, they're gone. God dang it. Whatever. Alright, so since we're here. Well, that'd be kind of useless. I mean, this is a little better, but I'd probably go with this guy, because we do have Marines or, or Mountaineers. Call the first of Austrian Empires offered us a pact where we'll sign non aggression pact with each other and give military access. This could be important in the upcoming war against the Prussians. Yeah, sure. Where is that? Where's it down there? Okay, so that's the point. There's no point in having you guys over there. My bad, whatever. Um, two, yeah, there you go. I just want to be aggressive. They refuse their annexation. They put the thirds and refuse their demands. What silly fools they are. God, I hate all these, all these guys. Honestly, just combine you guys for now. Extract more oil. Oh, that'd be really good to do. But I'll go call in ambitions. 75 or the true, true Empire, yes, please. It's gonna hurt the amount of tanks we got, but whatever. Beat machine's nice. You guys are done with all that stuff here. You do that. Uh, go there. Go there. 38. That's right, please would not be bad. Logistics would probably be good because we'll make our boys really big and thick. Because if the boys aren't thick, we don't want them. Four days left. Two. One. Of course, we have like no fuel. Let's grab at least one. Yeah, let's grab two. There you go. So, training. Probably not a good idea to do that right now. Here, take that off. Go home. Slide a bit of command power. Go with that one. And just chuck as many as you possibly can. Go home real quick. We'll destroy those dogs. Yes, yes. Give us as much army speed as possible. Sure, guys. French Algeria wants to come in. Panic on the front lines. Our commanders are too inexperienced. With the nation having been at peace for a century and panic is starting to spread. Organization failing as we finally begin our first war. Panic will come to end in time. Oh, 20, ooh, plus 20%. You know what? That's going to hurt us. We get way more army XP. Way, 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 way more. Which I'm actually okay with. For the nation. Oh, no. Prepare people for war. Well, okay, we need more army XP. Go, Commando. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. I call them all in. Lost about an even amount so far. Now, they're forcing defense, too. That's going to really hurt them as well. That's going to give us, our guys some serious experience. Because I'm mostly just making a defense army for the most part right now. Uh, better engines. I think it might still go mobile warfare. We'll see. Struggling just a little bit here. It's fine. Whatever. Yes. Give us all the stuff we need. I don't care about puppet autonomy right now at all. Nice. Good. 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 Keep it up. Keep it up. Armor for later. As we can. Just go here. If you can. <clears throat> 
There you go, and hey, Russell is completely strong. Nice. There you go. Look at that. Arm XP looking so good. Beautiful. As it should be. Darn the cancel enemies. Unrivaled in the Benelux. The British and Portions dare to try to counter influence the Benelux. We must stop them. Nice. How many more days we got? Oh, that's 14 days. Not bad. There you go. See, not bad. Um, see about you guys. Prepare the people for war. Go ahead. It's fine. Go and do that too. Not bad. Uh, any more divisions we make, we can put them down here too. And then put them in Africa as well. Oh, do we get... Oh. We own Constantine. Oh. Okay. And then break the brothers. Second coalition of brothers, the brother coalition, led by a Prussian. Italy poses the largest threat to France. Must conquer them as soon as, as soon as possible. Basically, when as soon as war happens. Yeah, dentism, more war support would be very nice. Let's go and do that one too. We might actually do some do some national syndicalist raids. No, well, that would be bad. They're twenty percent there. Do some stability though, which I don't like. Break the brothers. Claim the Dutch. Reach out to Duarte. The king of Portugal, Duarte, has been a friend since we helped him and his family win the Portuguese Civil War. Let's reach out to him and uh, strengthen ties. Protect the channel. I want to do a Psychon Conference first. Mm, these guys all suck. But just defend. That's literally all I want you to do down here is just defend. Anything here? Gamelon. More defense. Sure. Why not? For now. Just put a bunch of guys here, because the Italians are not going to be super weak, but, like, they're not that strong. They're really not that strong. Oh, yeah, it's for the nation. Be nice. Put on investments. Nothing there. Not bad. So now we can focus more on this stuff here. Mm -hmm. Aviation. Carrier's not bad. Decisive battle expert. Uh, I'll probably go with this guy. Decisive battle. Darlan. Yeah. It's almost 1939. Grab this stuff. North German Confederation makes sense. Saigon Conference. Claims almost Italy. Could attack them, but eh, we're okay for now. Protect the channel. Uh, let's extract oil. Algeria's oil fields would be helpful for supplying arms with the necessary fuel for the quick mobilization and fast warfare. Saigon Conference. With the reforms in Indochina complete, Napoleon VI met with Indochinese leaders and discussed possible plans moving forward. Oh, two part of France. Whoa. Okay, nice. Oh, that's actually very nice. Alright, so we'll probably find the Commonwealth eventually. Looks like we could probably just convert these divisions over here and just add them up to here. For now. For now, of course. Anything else? No? We're ignoring these guys. I'm completely ignoring the army, too. It's not good. Oh, we just straight up annex them. Fill in the rights of man. Oh, that's nice, actually. To protect the channel. In case of war with Britain, we must stock up on our fortifications on the coast to help stop naval invasions. Pretty much. Nice. Keep building, 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 building. Not bad. We actually have enough guns now. We need quite a few more trucks, but that'll come naturally. Um, make sure we're training our guys, though. That's going to cost a lot of fuel to do this. Even more fuel than that, too. More stability. You guys, right here too. Check oil. Very nice. Very good. To the channel. Claim the Dutch Rhine. What's this one? Well, it exists. The Dutch Rhine is part of the natural borders of France. We must claim it as our own. Brabant. Oh yes, please. Region wide integration. Can wait for that one. Don't have to do that one. Come down here. Ground support. Oh, that's not bad too. Decisive battle. Yeah, grab that guy. Bonapartist Ambition. Prepare for the British struggle. That's not bad. Oh, a lot more coordination. Oh, that's that one. Nice. Over here, 39. Could get better guns. Probably won't do that. Uh, land Doctrine. We're on Grand Battle Plan already. Uh, maybe maybe not Mobile Warfare. Because with this Focus Tree... We'll probably go down De Gaulle's reforms. We get mobile warfare versus, and also for a grand battle plan. And we're pretty nat pop. 
So uh, we want grand things, maybe not early fast things. I mean, I, I do want to use tanks eventually, but you know what? Let's stay with grand ba battle plan for now. More daily command power, not a bad idea. Can we just go at war? Probably, hopefully. Other than that, the Fianna uh, Award. Reach out to Duet. That's probably what we'll go do next. Alright, you guys. Oh, I can't just file. Oh, I can't just file. Oh, sucks. And. Alliance with Spain. Ah, uh, fresh recovered from the Civil War. Spain is our natural ally in our attempt to reshape the continent. Of course. And we'll get some artillery as well. Those are fully just making as much as we possibly can right now. 163 is not bad. Plenty of guns. That's really good, actually. Plenty, 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 plenty of guns. Carrier fighters, cast, lots of cast. Put you at the bottom, though. Uh, tactical bombers, not bad. Get these more fighters here, too. Go with another line here. That's fine. Um, at this point, we're done making... Uh, civvies, we'll keep at least one on. But we'll need some refineries. Just for natural fuel increase. 49% is not bad, though. Now to this one. Alliance with Spain. Please, we definitely, definitely, definitely need an alliance with Spain. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Sneezy Mokalova. <clears throat> the Kingdom of Portugal joins the French faction. Our plan is to stop the Continental Alliance Alliance from falling apart and away from us and making progress. Do after the second approves of our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. Yay! Very nice. Oh, you have 10 divisions on here. Not bad. Um, you guys, artillery engineers, not bad. Do we have any support companies? We don't have very much, because I'll throw on some cav. I'll make a 40 combat eventually as well. Oh, boy. Poor Austria. They're going to get smacked down hard, probably. Oh, they actually have Northern Greece, too. And Albania. Ah, I forgot about this up here. Six. We'll get enough air stuff eventually. Just go with that one. It's fine for now. And actually, you know, I probably should have gotten military theaters first. It's fine, whatever. Probably this guy. Lots of Spain. Claims on West Italy. Let's do mobilization of the Rhine Guard first. The Rhine Guard division helps secure the Rhine against any foreign power who tries across it. <clears throat> and Orex Orinish. Or the Kingdom of Westphalia. Rural development. Yeah, that'd actually be really good. Franco Spanish Alliance. Our right, plan to stop the Continental Alliance Alliance from falling apart and no way from us is making progress. Jose San Giorgio improves our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. One step closing one step closer. Yay. Capital ships all stuff point zero nine. This is that's only four percent. We're not we have literally have no cavalry, so there's no point to do that one. So we'll go with this guy. I want more army stuff. Naval stuff is okay. You can always train your ships. I might go with uh this guy here. We'll see. Actually, we might just wait to get another army guy, too. Air superiority. Ground, ground support, that's not bad. 15%. But I'm going to go with this guy for now. Extraction will be good. Get more fuel. Border research stuff is good. Naval stuff. Come grab that stuff, too. Mobilization of the Rhine Guard. Claims on West Italy. Rural development. The road is home to many resources in the prime place to industrialize. Claims on West Italy. Western Italy was an important part of our empire, one of the first conquests of Napoleon. We must once again claim it as we prepare for war against the brother, uh, Brothers Coalition. Launch a Mang Monago campaign? The Monago campaign will also explore the weakened Italian army pushed towards Rome and the dual African authorities. Our hold over Africa are divided into two, between the Western and Sub Saharan authorities. We must invest in them if we are to maintain our hold on Africa and reap the benefits of a colonial regime. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and we'll see you tomorrow when we go to war with. The Second Brothers Coalition. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of uh, your day.